Today we create title animation in After Effects. Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this really simple but dynamic looking text reveal or title animation you can say into After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So let's go ahead and create a new composition. Let's just name this to our main comp 1920 into 1080. Let's make this 30 frames, 5 seconds should be good enough and hit OK. So the first thing that I'm going to create is a circle. So to create a circle, just go to ellipse tool. And just or you can just double click on this it's gonna give us something like that i'm gonna set the stroke to zero for now and go right over here go to ellipse part one and unlink this and set this to somewhere around let's say 300 by 300. now well, that's a bit too small so let's pump this up to 500. yep that looks pretty good and then we can delete the fill Go into stroke and set the stroke width to somewhere around 40 should look good. Yep, that is looking pretty good. Maybe I'll decrease the stroke to somewhere around 400. Yep, that looks good. L let's just rename this to circle. And add a trim path. Go to trim paths. And then we can start and animate the circle. The stroke of the circle actually. So it's pretty simple, you just need to keyframe the trim path. So to keyframe it, I'm going to go to let's say 1 second and 10 frames. Click on the stopwatch of the end, end property. Go to very beginning and set this to 0. So we have a really simple animation like so. Then I'm going to go to 1 second and 10 frame again. Create a keyframe on offset. Go back in time maybe somewhere around there and maybe i'll set this to let's say minus 90 and drag this keyframe to the beginning hold shift so it will just snap in right over there so now we have something like that we are later gonna add some really nice motion to it so for now i'm just gonna leave it at that that's pretty lame right now then i'm gonna turn on my title action save and create kind of a line so select the pen tool set the stroke to 2 and we don't need the fill so i'm gonna set this to none and create a line like so maybe yep something like that so you can see we have a line like so we can turn on turn off our title action save now so we have something like that and let's just rename this to line go into the properties and add a trim path and on the 1 second and 10 frame mark, I'm going to again set the end property to 0. Or maybe let's just leave this to 100. Create a keyframe, go back in time and set this to 0. Alright, so now we have something like that. Then we can just go ahead and duplicate it 4 times. So I'm going to control D, hit control D to duplicate it. So we have 4 copies. Then we can just select all the copies and hit out to bring down the rotation properties and we can rotate this up so let's say i'll set this to 90 this to somewhere around 180 and this to 270 so we have something like this and then what we can do is i'm gonna select this one and move it a bit right over there just like so select this one move it right over here hold shift while doing it just to be a bit more precise just like so and there we go I'll select the third one or maybe the, the third one and bring it down using the arrow keys just to be a bit more precise so we have something like that now i want to rotate them so do that what we can do is we can just create a new null object 
and parent all the strokes to the null then we can just rotate the null object just like so i'm gonna set this to 45 so now we have something like that really simple and easy to create you can hide the null we don't need to see it so now we have something like that i think this is not really proportionate so i'm just gonna move it a bit like so yep i think that is looking pretty good yep that looks pretty good to me let's go ahead and create a new rectangle for our text it's going to be something like that now you can see it's not really proportional so let's fix this up so i'm going to rotate or let's just select the stroke let's place it right over here so by the way if you have your snapping turned on you can just snap it up to the rectangle which is a really handy feature so yep that, that looks pretty good and perfect to me maybe i'll snap this one as well as you can see so has to be a bit more precise you can take your time and just be a bit more precise than me i'm just trying to be precise right now <laughs> all right so this is our box so let's just rename this to box or rectangle whatever you want to rename it to and set the stroke to let's say one pixels yep there we go go into the contents rectangle one rectangle path one unlink unlink this and i'm gonna set this to somewhere around maybe 450 and align this in the center like so so there we have it and change the height to somewhere around there okay to somewhere around maybe 100 pixels or oh, let's make this one 20 yep that looks pretty good maybe i'll increase this to 500 yeah that is looking pretty good then i'm gonna add trim part to this and then we can animate the same thing like we did before or let's say we don't need to actually animate it again we can just delete it and copy paste the trim parts of the circle into so i'm gonna hit ctrl c to copy it and select this ctrl v to paste it up so now we have if i just hide this control layers let's see so we just need to fix this bring this ahead in time so i'm gonna just hold shift and just bring it right over there so now we have something like that so then we can go ahead and add our text so i'm going to type in anything that you want to like i am just going to type in dynamic you can of course type in anything that you want to type in your name or you know your brand name or company name or what the heck you want just set this to semi bold maybe and change the color so we can see it a bit more properly something like a yellow maybe yep that is looking pretty good actually we'll set this to a different font maybe a next uh next up bold maybe yep that looks pretty good set this to 90 maybe and increase the distance by 25 there we go now let's animate our text so before animating the text i want to use a track mat for our text to create that kind of a dynamic animation so to do that we have our box shape layer so i'm just gonna hit ctrl d to duplicate it and rename this to mat and i'm gonna add a fill like so and we don't need actually the trim parts so we can just delete the trim parts we don't need the stroke as well and this fill as well so now we are just left with the fill I said this is something like a gray so we can just see it a bit more properly and bring the text below our mat and change it maybe toggle switch this and change it to alpha mat so now we can just go ahead and animate our text we i'm just going to turn on turn off my snapping so let's say i'll go to two seconds and hit s 
create a keyframe on the scale hit r to create a keyframe on the rotation and hit p to create a uh, to create a keyframe on the position then hit u so we can see all the keyframes go back in time to somewhere around 20 frames hold shift and just bring this out like so somewhere around there rotate it by let's say 30 percent or 30 degree and scale this up to all the way up to 220 now we should have something like that see looks really really cool now we have our animation but it's pretty lame at the moment so let's go ahead and give a little bit a uh, really nice animation or really nice you know dynamic animation to our animation i hope that makes sense yeah I don't know so let's just select all the layers and hit U so we can see all the keyframes so very first thing I'm gonna select all these keyframes hit F9 to ease them I'm gonna graph editor and drag it like so select this end and just drag it like so then I'm gonna select these keyframes hit F9 to ease them go to graph editor and drag it all the way up like so so now we should have something like that as you can see it looks really nice clean and dynamic and you can do some really cool stuff with this technique so you don't need to create the exact same shapes that I created you can create some different really cool and abstract shapes as well so to make it look a bit more cool what we can do is we can add a background so let's just hit ctrl y on the keyboard to create a new background and let's just rename this to bg and hit OK. Let's add a fill. Let's bring this down. And get a really nice color, something like that, maybe. Yep, that looks that looks pretty cool, actually. Yep, that is looking really nice. We can select all the layers and pre-comb this, except the BG. So I'm just gonna call this title. And hit OK and add a drop shadow to this thing. Set this to 20% maybe. And increase the distance to somewhere around there. And softness to about 5 pixels. So we get this really nice and dynamic looking text reveal. It looks actually pretty cool. Maybe I'll just bring this down to 16%. Goals. So yep, that's really simple and easy. Kind of a beginner level tutorial I'll say. But hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and if it was, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care, thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.